Hey guys, Theron here. Video games are certainly a work of art, if they're done correctly. They can bring people together and immerse them into fantastical worlds where they have the control. In other cases, well, the games are totally full of glitches, which corrupt your save files, losing your hours of work, which makes you question life and why you even exist. <sighs> Pokemon, while being a fun and joyful experience, certainly has some of these glitches. And today, we're taking a look at the 5 craziest. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button down below, and subscribe so you never miss an upload from me. But with that being said, let's get into the video. Breaking itself into the number 5 spot, we have Glitch City from Generation 1. Now this is essentially a glitch consisting of all random tiles in the game, creating a whole city which you need to go through extensive steps to get through, including going to into the safari zone, say no to the attendant when you try to exit, saving and resetting the game. actually exits the safari zone Eventually, an alarm will go off, telling you your time in the safari zone is over. After exiting the safari zone again, you will be in Glitch City. Extensive, I know. Now, you can never save your game here, you can never exit, and you'll be forced to walk around this crazy city for all eternity. And you can't exit by foot. The only way you can exit is to use fly in a Pokemon. But if you don't have, let's say, a Pidgeot or Pharaoh, or left it in the box, you're essentially screwed. Due to this feeling of appending doom, I decided to put Glitch City on the number 5 spot. Cracking its way towards the number 4 spot is a Mew glitch, also in Generation 1. Now remember what I said in there where you can find Mew video about not being able to find Mew regularly in the games? If you haven't, I suggest you do. The link will be in the description below. However, play some Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow certainly have a way around this. But it is so random and elaborative, I decided to put it on the list. Now, to the how to do list you have to fly or teleport to Cerulean City. Find a certain youngster and defeat his Slowpoke. Fly or teleport to the town you were on initially, go back to the route you were on before, which will cause the start menu to pop up. Exit the start menu, and voila! Conclusively, you can do this with any other trainer and any other Pokemon at the, on that route, which makes it pretty cool. Now you have a neat way to connect all 151. Just don't mess up your game please. Now on the number 3 spot, I put Freefall from Generation 5. Now this is the only glitch that is not from Generation 1 to make it onto the list, showing just how broken those games were. Anyhow, for this glitch to work, you'd have to be in a double or triple battle in Generation 5, and you'd have to use Sky Drop on your opponent, which drags them up in the air. Now your ally Pokemon in this round would use Gravity. This move negates the Levitate ability, making flying types, for example, able to be hit by ground type moves, and making players unable to use flying moves. But an added effect in this scenario is that the opponent on which you used Sky Drop 
would be unable to use any moves before the Pokemon that had used the move was knocked out or switched out. You can imagine how this move would be dreadful against your opponent, especially if you're going up against a brute defensive wall of the Pokemon such as the Steelix or a Regice with defense and special defense stats over 200 respectively. For these reasons, and breaking the competitive scene entirely, I put the Skydrop glitch on the number 3 spot. Coming to the number 2 spot, we have the Missing No glitch from Generation 1. It is very likely that you've heard of this glitch. After all, it is the most famous glitch out of all in Pokemon. However, if you don't know this glitch uh, and how it works, is that you encounter a wild Pokemon by the name Missingno. Its sprite is blurred and it's got a pitch cry. It's a bird slash normal type with the first being changed to the flying type in latter stages of game development. Encountering this strange entity can cause many strange things to happen. One of these is that it can cause item duplication, meaning the number of items in the sixth pocket of your bag will become 128. It also affects saved data, with reports on it affecting half game data, not making it able to save the game. That is when you beat Elite 4. In Pokemon Yellow, if you capture a missing note about level 1, it will remain this level despite all the experience you could give it. When you battle with it, instead of it taking damage, its health power goes through numbers, letters and other symbols. Its health power bar will even wrap across the screen. For these insane mechanics, and being so famous, it managed to make it into the number 2 spot. Now, what could be the craziest mechanic and glitch in all of Pokemon? You have to beat all of these and be even crazier. The number 1 craziest glitch is... The CCACC glitch from Generation 1. Now, where do I begin? This glitch is just... Crazy. It completely destroys your game without a chance for recovery though. How it works is that you use another glitch called a Ditto Glitch. If your Pokemon has a special stats between 200 and 255 in this glitch, the training you encounter in this glitch is what truly breaks the game. The music turns off and instead we hear grating late effect noises. Also the sprites become deformed or overall strange looking. All your Pokemon become level 153 Bulbasaurs and all get 3 out of 4 moves replaced by Explosion. It also changes your trainer name to a string of odd letters making your Pokemon not obey you. Going to see a party of Pokemon freezes the game. Also, unless your name in game has 2 or 5 letters and you try to save your English, the game will think there's no save file at all making you lose all progress in the game. And if you battle the trainer, your game crashes, making you only able to use an item that lets you not being able to open the back screen. Oh, why Game Freak, why? Because it just essentially traps you and all the insane details in it. This glitch is definitely the most insane in Pokemon games. Game Freak, just get your shit together, please. So guys, that is it from me. Make sure you like that button. No wait, no, no. Like that button. Hit that like button. That's the correct word. Down below. And uh, make sure you subscribe too, so you don't miss an upload from me. And uh, tell me what you thought of the face cam in the comment section below. I'd like to hear your feedback. It's a new element to my videos. Uh, but with that being said, I've been Baron, and I will see you in another video.